um, my name is Miss Drew and I work for Defiance Soil and Water Conservation District and I am here to read you a book called Animals in Winter. It is written by Henrietta Bancroft and Richard Van Gelder and illustrated by Hel Helen Davy. The days grow short and the nights grow long. It is getting colder. Winter is coming. Leaves have fallen from the trees. There are no berries on the bushes. Insects are gone and the grass is dead and brown. Birds and other animals are getting ready for winter. Some of the birds will fly south. Bluebirds and orioles go towards the south. They go where it is warm and sunny and where there is food for them to eat. When spring comes, the birds will make their long journey back north. They migrate. Some butterflies migrate too. That is what the monarch butterflies do. They gather in a tree by the hundreds before cold weather comes. They stay in the tree all night. In the morning, they fly towards their winter homes in the south. Many bats fly south too, but some bats stay in the north all winter. When the weather gets cold, they go to a cave. There is no wind or snow in the cave. The bats sleep there all winter. They do not eat. They live on the fat stored inside them. They do not move. They hardly breathe. They sleep, sleep, sleep. They hibernate. Woodchucks hibernate too. When fall comes, a woodchuck eats and eats and eats. He eats grass, twigs, and leaves. He grows fat. When it gets cold, the woodchuck crawls into his long tunnel and goes to sleep. Does he sleep for a day? Longer than that. Does he sleep for a week? Longer than that. A month? Even longer. A woodchuck can sleep as long as four months. The woodchuck seems hardly alive. He breathes very slowly and his heart beats slowly. He sleeps, sleeps, sleeps. He hibernates. Some animals do not have to hibernate. They gather food and save it for the winter. That is what a pika does. A pika looks like a little rabbit, but with round ears. Pikas live in high mountains where winters are long and cold. They eat grass. In summer, they cut more grass than they can eat. They spread the grass on flat stones and the hot sun dries it. By the end of summer, a pika may have gathered 50 pounds of grass. She hides it under rocks. In winter, she eats the dry grass and it keeps her alive. Squirrels gather food too and save it for winter. They dig holes in the ground and they bury hickory nuts and acorns. When winter comes, they dig them up and eat them. Sometimes squirrels forget where they buried the nuts. Trees may grow from the nuts that squirrels forget. Some animals do not get ready for winter at all. They do not store food. They do not hibernate. They do not migrate. They must hunt for food all winter long.
There are mice that must hunt all winter for seeds of goldenrod, aster, and other wild plants. Sometimes they eat farmers' corn, oats, and wheat. Deer must dig in the snow for dried leaves, plants, and moss. When the snow is deep, they must eat the twigs, buds, and bark of trees. The rabbit must hunt under the snow for bits of grass and plants. When the snow is deep, he too eats the buds and barks of uh, bushes that, so he can stay alive. In the winter, the fox hunts for mice and rabbits. This fox has discovered a mouse in its tunnel beneath the snow. When the winter is cold and the snow is deep, many animals cannot find food. Here are some ways you can help animals in the winter. You can set out bird feeders. You can make garland of nuts and even dried fruit. Um, and you can plant shrubs that have berries for food and shelter for animals. Eventually the days grow longer. The nights grow shorter and it begins to get warmer. Spring is coming. So spring is here actually. It um, is getting warmer out now and that means a lot of animals are coming out of hibernation and they are um, migrating north. So that still means that they need food as well. All living things need uh, food, water, and shelter when you really think about it. So um, providing places where animals can find shelter or homes and or um, setting out food for them so they can survive even when there's not as much food like right now when things are still growing. So just remember that uh, animals, even if it's not winter, still need all those things just like we need, um, food, shelter, and water. So thank you for listening. So one thing you can do for birds as they migrate back north is you can make your own bird feeder. So you can grab um, toilet paper roll and you can spread peanut butter all around the side. I just did one side so you can see what I was holding. So you have peanut butter and then what you'll do is you'll roll it in some bird feed like so. And eventually you'll put a string through the middle and tie it at the top. Um, around a branch outside and that'll be a uh, good food um, good protein from the peanut butter for uh, wildlife and birds especially so fun project